Can you believe that I've never made a video on gravity board? It's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Gravity board is the tweak that lends gravity or the lack thereof to your iPhone's home screen or your iPad's home screen just like this. And there's lots of settings here. It's recently been updated with iOS 5 support in tow and it also works with the iPad or iPad 2. So lots of settings here. We're going to go over gravity board pretty much one by one in all these settings and just talk about it in depth. There's some activation methods here. You can turn on the tweak using activator, one of the many activator actions in that list there. You can also have it automatically enabled when you go to your home screen. I'll turn that off for now. You can launch apps or page swipe while gravity board is enabled. And you can also include the dock if you turn off page swiping just like that. But for now, we'll just go ahead and turn on page swiping and keep the dock off. The simulation settings allow you to change the effect of gravity. For instance, you can change gravity, bounciness, and friction. You could reset all those to default settings. And then you have finger mode, which will actually move your uh, icons away from your finger or attract them to your finger depending on which mode you enable. Then you have the amount of effect using this little slider here. Let's go ahead and actually disable the finger mode right now. And I'm just going to show you the gravity board effect in stock mode, if you will. Um, so let's go back to our home screen and I have an activator gesture to tap on or double tap on the status bar. And there you go. There is gravity board in action on my iPhone 4S's home screen just like that folks and you can swipe pages of course just like that and I'll swipe well swipe back and there we go and then of course you can launch app so I'll launch the settings app and let's change some settings here first of all let's turn off launching of apps so we're going to go back to our home screen I'm going to enable gravity board using the double tap on the status bar if I can get it right there we go and you won't be able to launch apps because I disabled the launching of apps so you can see launching of apps is disabled completely now let's go back to our settings and enable the launching of apps and disable page swiping this time. Now let's go back to home screen and I'm going to enable it. You can see I can swipe pages right now, but now I cannot because I disabled page swiping in gravity board. Okay. So let's go back to settings again and turn off or enable page swiping. And then let's go ahead and change some of the simulation settings. Let's change up gravity. I call this popcorn mode for a good reason. You're going to see why here in a second. Back to the home screen. And there, you can see why I call it popcorn mode, because all the app icons are bouncing around like they're in a popcorn popper. Let's go back to settings and let's reset the simulation defaults. And now we'll change, well, let's just turn everything down. Well, how about, hmm, turn bounciness down, turn gravity down, and keep friction up. All right, so let's try it now. All right, you can see nothing's moving <laughs> because all the settings are down. But I can move the icons like that, but they're not really doing much. They're just kind of staying in place because everything's pretty much disabled except for friction. All right, let's reset these simulation defaults. And just keep in mind that you can change this however you want to change it. You can find your ideal setting and just keep that setting, if you will. Now let's check out finger mode. Let's enable gravity well. That's going to actually attract uh, icons to my finger. I'm going to have automatically enable on as well so I don't have to use that activator action. And now watch all the app icons. They're all attracted to my finger just like that. So I could just tap here or tap there. And you can see all the app icons just go directly to that portion of the screen. Now let's do the opposite. This is the anti-gravity. So can you guess what's going to happen here? Exactly. Anti-gravity. They're going to hate the finger. They don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> All right, so you can also change the amount of effect by using this little slider here. So if I turn that effect down, the anti-gravity isn't as severe, although it is still present. If I turn it all the way down, let me find my settings here. I turn anti-gravity all the way down to watch what happens here. Go back to my home screen, and really, they're not unattracted to the finger. They're not. There's no anti-gravity effect, hardly any to speak of, with that setting all the way down there. So that is gravity board for the iPhone. Folks, let's head over to the iPad 2. Pretty much the same thing, same philosophy. All the settings are the same, but you get it on this nice big screen there, which is really neat. It's a great effect. It's actually probably one of the most popular jailbreak tweaks of all time, I'd say. Now let's go ahead and enable the dock mode since I didn't show you that. So now all the app icons have gravity board applied to them. So that's pretty cool. I really like this tweak. It's awesome. I can't believe that I'm just now shooting it on video. It is called Gravity Board. It's available on Cydia's Big Boss repo for $2.99. It fully supports iOS 5. It's completely compatible with the iPad and it's been recently updated 
and it's available right now. You can download it, install it right now today. Let me know what you guys think about Gravity Board in the comment section, folks. This is a legendary tweak, and rightly so. It's pretty impressive, the effect you get with all your app icons just going everywhere. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.